Welcome back to the Motor Super Series, where we just saw a very good win for Dan Nichols. That's actually taken him to the top of the table. He beat Jamie Kelling, who was unbeaten before that game, and he beat him 4-0, meaning he now leads on leg difference with four points, along with Kelling and Ross Montgomery in second. Uh, Dennis van der Ender missed the opportunity to beat Montgomery in that match, and Ryan Branley and Darren Bart. Well, one of them will also go to four points at the end of the game that's about to take place. The Spartan up against the teenage talent that is Branley, and you know, we've been talking about it most of the day, but it's a it's pick any two, isn't it, from five, really. Dennis van der Ender, we've kind of ruled out. The week hasn't been a good one for him, but any other two could go through based on the evidence we've seen the so far. So Ryan matches like this first. are going to be key Game on. to getting that progression. Especially now, Jamie Kellyn's tasted defeat as well. So everyone has lost a game in the first couple of laps of fixtures. 140. I'm really intrigued now, again, for the story of Ryan Branley. Hit the ground running, started well, played well against Montgomery, didn't get the win. What's 60. the reaction? Well, it seems to be just more of the same. He just does himself, doesn't he? In fact, he's stepping it up. 140. Sixty. One hundred. Stepping it up, he is back to back one forties and a maximum to kick start proceedings. There's not much you can do about that. One hundred. Darren Barton. Ryan required forty one. And start thinking of the next leg. Game shot the first leg. Ryan Brandley. Absolutely brilliant. 11 data from the 16-year-old Ryan Brandley. Game on. Giving us our best leg of darts of the week. And showing in flashes what he can do. We said the same about Dan Nichols. 100. There are flashes of brilliance, and if he can produce enough of those in this short format, then he'll probably win enough matches. And the impressive thing for me, for Ryan, is even when he's not hitting, he is right there on that wire. There is the potential, isn't there, on finals night for Ryan Branley to play? 45. Martin Adams, which would be the biggest age gap we've ever seen in a game at the Super Series. Potentially in the sport of darts. 59. Well, I wouldn't even just say the sport of darts. I'd say potentially in sport. There will be a 52 age difference. 52 100. years between them. I can't think of any sport where that would be topped. Maybe chess. 59. We get into the debate about what's a sport and what's not, and darts has been in that debate, hasn't it, over the years? Ninety-two. Aaron never quite one hundred and sixteen. Twenty-seven. That could be a slip that invites Ryan Brandley back into the leg. 130. Darren, you're quite 89. Now within striking range. Should Darren Barton make another mistake? 65. Ryan, you're quite 102. Well, we see the two sides of the coin, 36. the brilliance Darren, by 24. Branley in leg one and just a little struggle towards the end of leg two, allowing Barton this opportunity. Game on. 
game. Like as soon as he threw that first dart, where we did, he expected to deflect off it into the double with at least then one of the two Ryan's darts. Throw first. Game on. And despite that gulf in those opening two legs, 45. they have been shared. There have been two sort of contrasting legs, though, haven't they, from... Ryan Brownley won the opening leg in 11. And then the next leg was running 21 darts. 58. One hundred and forty. Do you know, I've been puzzled. 60. All week with Darren Barton, and I thought the whole setup, when he addresses the hockey and addresses the board, reminds me of someone. And I finally just tweaked who it is. Thirty-five. Scott Mitchell. Well, oh, actually, that angle we saw him approach the hockey it painted that picture perfectly, almost like it was planned. Eighty-five. Only threw a dart in the five, so I make you totally right. 64. Yeah, that's a great spot, actually. I think he heard you as well. It took him a good few seconds to throw that first dart. <laughs> 100, or I only require 117. On 57. Gets him a go at top. Game He's been Jordan so good in that department, hasn't he? On those Ryan combination Brandy. finishes. Running out of paper to write them all down. Well, like it's Darren to throw first. Game on. Feels good about it as well, Ryan Brandley. And why shouldn't he? To be up on that stage at 16 doing that kind of thing. Most of us would be a bag of nerves at any age, but he's just taken it in his stride. He is sat quite well at the moment in regards to the PDC development tour as well, which would put him in the World Youth Championship. One hundred and forty. He could be a danger in that event. He certainly could be someone who could spoil a few parties. One hundred and forty. Well, he's now averaging in three figures here, Ryan Brandley. Maybe making a real attention-grabbing display here. Attention-grabbing. It might be some screen-grabbing right now. I'm sure a few family and friends will be screenshotting this right now to show Ryan that he was running over the 100 average. May not count for anything. If Barton takes this out, the match will be square. Travel 17, leaves the bolt. 114, Ryan, they require 114. Yeah, a couple of big finishes so far, Ryan Brandley. This will be the biggest of them all. Twenty-three. Darren, they require 47. One of those really unfortunate visits, that, because neither of the first two darts he threw were actually that far away from the intended target. He only scored three points for the two of them. 15. He will get a chance at 117, Ryan though, and he took that out in the previous 17. leg. Well, history has a habit of repeating itself. Game and there is nothing the sweeter than there. a repeater. Ryan Brandley. As Ryan Brandley goes back to back. With 117 checkouts to, throw first. to leave on. Darren Barton feeling flawed. One hundred and eighty. Hundred percent on the doubles. The second maximum of the game for Ryan Branley. Two one seventeen finishes. This is clinical. Well, how interesting could it get? 
How exciting could it get? One hundred and eighty. It can't get any more exciting than this. Ryan Branley, at 16 years of age, on his first appearance at the Motor Super Series, is on a nine dart finish. One hundred. Ryan, you require one hundred. us an eleven, the best leg of the week so far. There's only two more we can do better than that. And he was nearly there. A dart away from being able to have the big money shot. 89. So close to a moment of history. Remember the name. I think you'll remember that moment. The series business here has got a chance to win the game and a chance to do it with a second 11 dart leg. Hasn't missed a double in the match and that is a stunning performance by any measure. Ryan Bradley, the teenage talent, defeats Darren Barton 4-1 and does it with an average of 104.53 in a match in which he threatened a perfect leg and did not miss a single dart at double. Read those stats, take them in. That lad is just 16 years of age, and that is what he can already do. Maybe